Hello and welcome to another episode of the Federal Church Presents Better Than Bluebird. Continuing our coverage of the 2023 global financial system collapse, the worst ever. Where the Fed, well, reserve, goes all in on making you poor. Is the uh, market wrap today for the uh, for Friday, April 21st? Stocks, bonds, gold, and crypto slide. The crypto's only sliding because they're figuring out the uh, the irrelevant tidbits. I'm going to be being a. Uh, I'm going to be having any part of that. As U.S. sovereign risk roars to record high. Where, uh, like I said, forward guidance there is still to the moon. I still fully expect that to be used as a uh, one method of uh, trade settlement amongst the countries that actually do produce things. You know, the industrialized nations. Glimpse at the short end of the yield curve. Which is also just funny because even with their yield curve control shenanigans, it's still imploding. Shines a bright light on market stress around the debt ceiling X date being dragged closer. When the US is going to default. Oh, and a great time to do it too, by the way, is for the, uh, for the so called Republicans there, probably rhinos, for them to insert a little bit of the. Uh, little bit of the reality there, perhaps giving certain certain nations their sovereignty so that they're no longer a burden to the U.S. taxpayer. Otherwise, they won't uh, raise that debt ceiling. Maybe uh, maybe do a little welfare reform. How about that? Oh, and even better, to save the taxpayer from the horrendous tax burden of the, uh, the undesirables. Getting rid of the birthright citizenship and revisiting the Fourteenth Amendment because it wasn't uh, it wasn't meant for that. And removing birthright citizenship retroactively as well. That might be a that might be a great time to examine these uh, these key issues that are a burden to the U.S. taxpayer. Why raise the debt ceiling if that's causing the debt? Bills that mature within a month are dramatically bid. Ooh, while bills that mature after a potential sooner than expect date, expected X date are bidless. Ooh, sounds like a damn good time to introduce that legislation there. Can't raise the debt ceiling unless we get rid of all of these debt causing issues. Look at that. Look at that. The yield curve itself shows that huge kink more clearly. Look at that. Look at this. And that is reflected in the surge to record highs for short-dated USA sovereign protection costs. Toiletries are garbage. Why is that again? We need to rein in that debt. And this debt ceiling discussion is a damn good time to get rid of that undesirable debt. Let's see here. U.S. CDS. Let's see. Garbage, garbage, and more garbage. But while USA risk is rising, U.S. equity risk has been falling all week to its lowest close since November 21. Probably because you shouldn't have the people who run your economy ever even be considering washing dishes like your undesirables and their dead-causing nature. Let's see here. However, as VIX tumbled to cycle lows this week, VIX is noticeably dictated they're notably decoupling from it across today's OPEX. Options expiration daily. Look at that. This looks like the uh, the derivative of it is uh, getting higher. Look at that. The VIX, I mean. Stocks suffered their worst week since March 10th. You now the SVB collapse 
with NASDAQ the biggest loser and small caps actually managing small gains. See, why would that be? Why would that be? Aside from the banks still being insolvent. Maybe it's because you don't have the people running your economy insulted with washing dishes. Like your undesirable debt causers. Despite squeezes every day this week, most shorted stocks ended lower. Ooh. It's like everything else. Energy stocks were the weakest this week, while staples and real estate outperformed. Which means your rent's getting higher with all that money printing. And we all know, the rent is too damn high. That, by the way, is who you should cry to about your problem. as defensives outperform cyclicals. It's amazing how they can figure that out, but they can't figure out how to fix it. So, I don't know what this is. Voted to tighten up regulation on the financial system. Oh, the oversight committee. Including non-banks, but while regional banks were up on the week marginally, they were well off the week's highs. Probably because they're insolvent. They remain just drooling along at the post SVB lows in context. Treasury yields ended the week higher, with the short end underperforming after today's post PMI spike change this week. Let's take a look here. Oh, the banks just got more insolvent. Who prophesies that? The defying right of prophesizes here. Fed Chair Powell's favorite yield curve based recession signal. The 18 month forward, 3 month to spot, 3 month yield spread. It is most inverted this week, ever this week, and that's with yield curve control shenanigans. That's pretty bad. Rate hike expectations continue to rise for next week. Now, 92% odds of a 25 basis points hike. Which doesn't actually matter because you're printing trillions of dollars. Who cares about 25 basis points? But we also saw the entire STRS curve shift hawkishly. With June now at 25% odds of a 25 basis point hike and the terminal rate back above 5%. I'm going to guess the real terminal rate will be much higher than that. Like 25%. The dollar saw its first weekly gain since three or since March 10, but remains only marginally off the February lows. Note that during the week, though every impulse higher in the dollar was sold into as they get poor. Deservedly. Oh, cryptos had an ugly week. Do not fear. The uh, forward guidance is still to the moon. I think they're just getting the uh, the idea that. Uh, or it's finally starting to settle in, I mean. That the uh, that the irrelevant deadbeats mean nothing, especially in terms of institutional use of cryptos, especially amongst nations that actually are industrialized and have trade. Something to trade. With Bitcoin surging back above 30,000 and running out of steam fast, tumbling back to support at 28,000, that's just the there. Spot gold. Oh, are we in here? Yeah, that's kind of usual volatility. I don't know why then. Spot gold closed back below 2,000 this week. Probably more naked, short, and shenanigans. Haven't tried and failed to rally back above it a few times? And these shenanigans. Because they don't want their dollars looking useless. And their pound sterling looking useless. But they are. Natural gas and crude were lower on the week, along with copper, along with copper, as growth fears were resurrected modestly. Silver ended the week unchanged. Probably more shenanigans there. And we note that WTI has erased most of the post-OPEC production cuts by gains. Ah, you just need a war to bring that up. But who needs gas when they don't have any jobs to go to? Finally, with one week left in the, uh, oh, especially here over at, uh, here's another good note, at Lyft, 
There's 1,200 employees that won't be worrying about that. Finally, with one week left in the month of April, data back to 1985 shows that May is historically quite good for risk. Not this time around. Your bank failure. All your banks are insolvent. And you piss off the people that run your economy. As Goldman notes, SPX is above 76% of the time during the month of May, with a median return of 122 basis points. And NDX is positive 66% of the time during the month of May, with a median return of 325 basis points. But only one thing matters. It's how much the Reverend Rand here gets paid. Or, uh, I guess this, this is also what he was talking about here. And there's stupid little indices. Well, only a handful of the stocks out of the uh, S&P 500 there. What is that? Five? Ten of them at most? Usually about seven. Only about, you know, seven of the stocks there make up all of the indexes gains. Everything is flat or uh, falling. So buy the fucking dip next week after Gamma unclenches as 42% of the market cap of the S&P 500 reports earnings? Probably not. Especially as they uh, get in touch with reality and learn that, you know, you don't run your Bolshevik bullshit screwing people out of billions of dollars and then expecting them to make you richer and wasting their time washing dishes. Should've got a fucking dishwashing machine and a robot. Again, don't forget why you're in this mess. Because you did not donate. Put the money in the Bitcoin wallet in the description. Oh, and again, watch the uh, watch the desperate little dirty lying pseudoscientist try to claim their BS there. Oh, he's a little bit more animated today. Yeah, because you didn't drug him into a stupor with your shit little lying suit psychotropic medications. That's just the way I am. And you can't drug people into liking your retards, especially over billions of dollars. But they're not the smartest people on earth, which is why their banking system's failing. And so is their stock market and their economy, and damn near everything else in their country. Idiocracy. Just like in the thumbnail. Make sure to donate. It's why you're in the situation you're in.